So let's check out No Borer Linux. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm excited. I wanted to explore and check out Nobora Linux. And actually one of my subscribers recommended that I check out Nobora and it's essentially a distro that's been tailored for easy use and optimized for gaming. So let's dive into what sets Nobora apart from the rest. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so based on my research, Nabora Linux takes Fedora and turbocharges it for a seamless user experience. Now I'm at naboraprojects.org and this is where you can get all the information about Nabora. But from reading through it, you know, it's packed with enhancements for gamers and content creators alike. So here's what you need to know. Now, Nabora brings a robust kernel tweak for superior gaming performance and capability, including specialized patches for diverse hardware. And it's a haven for gamers with top notch support for OBS Studio, uh, Wine and Proton, ensuring a smoother gaming journey. Now for creators, which I fall in that boat, it boosts seamless support for heavyweight apps like Blender and DaVinci Resolve, making content creation a breeze. And so after reading through it and going through it, I, I think I might actually try it out, you know, just to see. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Fedora, but just reading about this, you know, it definitely makes me want to check it out on my main system. I might install it on my side laptop just to see if I can get DaVinci Resolve, you know, running and working properly over there and test it out as far as editing and all that stuff. Now, Nabora simplifies things, replacing the complex SE Linux with the most approachable app warmer which enhances its user friendliness. And if you guys haven't heard of App Armor, it is super easy. They use it on Ubuntu. But remember, Nabora isn't just another Fedora version. It's an independent project that leverages Fedora's building blocks while charting its own course. And so let me quickly show you guys how to get it right fast. So if we go to download Nabora, and you can go down and download the latest version. Now I already downloaded the KDE version. I wanna check that one out. As you can see, they, they have a nice wiki with a lot of information over here, you know, dealing with NVIDIA drivers. And they do have some current releases down here that support NVIDIA drivers. So you can download these if you have an NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA graphics card on your system. But I'm going to just download the current version, which is it was released 2023, 11, 28. So November 28, a couple days ago. But yeah, back over here to the wiki, you know, they have frequently asked questions, Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, OBS, DaVinci Resolve. It's a lot of information, you know, for content creation as well as gaming. They also breaks down, you know, how to update, upgrade, you know, different things with this system. And like I stated earlier, it's similar to Fedora. So if you've used Fedora, it's shouldn't be a problem for you to migrate over. But if you're interested in the known version, they do have a known version, like I stated earlier, but I'll check out that KDE version. But all you have to do is download it. They also had a SHA-256 right below it. So when whenever you download it, you can download the SHA-256 right here. So you can verify that you're getting it from the correct source. Now let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the installation and then we can check out the desktop environment. All right, cool. So I had a virtual machine booted up and the first thing it'll do is bring of the installer and this is the calamaris installer so it's super simple it's not that difficult to install and if it doesn't bring up the installer all you gotta do is click the link right here that'll run the script that'll start up the installer for you and then you can go through this quick installer so let's go on and quickly go through it but the language so next american english for me it automatically pulled up my location so i'm in on the west coast so los angeles then our keyboard layout partition so i'm gonna just erase the drive i give it a 32 gigabit vda 
and then you can set swap if you need to so swap with hibernate it automatically selected that for us but you can turn off swap or no hibernate or swap to file i'm just leaving on swap with hibernate it doesn't matter this is a virtual machine so really don't care now the encryption they do have encryption you can encrypt the drive put a passphrase on there and that way when you boot up the system before it even comes up it'll ask for a password because it'll encrypt the full hard drive for you and then also the bootloader location is the normal location so right on the main partition so let's go down and hit next there and set up our account and this will be a pseudo account so we can leave the board pc as the computer name and then set our password for it and then type it in twice as you see you got two options down here log in automatically which i uncheck i don't I always like for it to ask for the password to log into the system even though this system is a virtual machine it's just going to go away i just make it a habit to do that and i want you guys to do the exact same thing you always want a password on your system that way you don't boot up your system or leave it somewhere or you lose your computer if someone has access to all your stuff because it just automatically logs into it and they can get a copy of all your all your files on the system now use the same password for administrator account yes that's correct and hit next and here is our summary for it and this just breaks down everything we selected through the installation process and all you gotta do is hit install it'll go through install the operating system format the drives install the operating system and come up so as you can see nabor super simple it uses that calamoris installer which is super easy to follow and use and so i'll be back when it completes all right so the installation is complete another bore linux 38 all you have to do is hit the restart now button hit done it'll restart it and we can check out the desktop environment right fast so let's hit done all right so i just wanted to show you guys the login screen you could put your image up there you have to do that in the actual operating system once you log in like your picture or whatever but it uses Wayland, and like i said this is plasma i installed the kde version of it let's go on to type in our password and get into it and i'll fix the display and come back all right so we logged into it and the first thing will pop up is a welcome page and then also it'll basically say we've detected this is a new Nabor installation before moving on it is required that you perform system updates and i would recommend you do that on any system you install that you just go through the update so i'm gonna hit yes there and it'll go through and it'll start the update process on the system so let's go and type in our password and good to go it'll go through like i said it'll look for updates for the system and then update them on the system and like i said it's similar to fedora so you'll see the exact same update process now back to the welcome page so i'm gonna make this a little smaller so you guys can see it a little better it looks better but you got a couple steps you can go through so it says welcome to nabora linux thanks for choosing nabora this welcome screen will help guide you through the available resources for Nabor, as well as help you set up your computer to your liking. So first up, update the system, which is doing right now. You can install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers if you need it. Install more apps from the software center. It'll launch that software center for you. And this is the GNOME software center. So I'm going to click on it just to bring it up. But you can install your web apps you know like your favorite web browser all that stuff or whatever i'm not gonna go through this let me go down and close this i'm not i'm not gonna go through here and look look through it but you have access to a repository of a whole bunch of software just like any other you know distro you're gonna start your web apps uh let's see recommended edition so it, it it doesn't come with a lot of the applications on here for you but it does give you the option to install it which is super cool you don't want to bloat the system up with a whole bunch of software that maybe someone doesn't want to use like for instance i'm not a 3d creation type of guy or whatever as far as content creation i don't use blender or i don't you know make assets for like a video game or something like that like my son used blender for roblox you know developing characters that they use within the game or whatever they they'll do it in blender or like different assets like clothing or shoes or something like that i don't do any of that stuff so it's no need to have blender installed so i won't go through and install blender but i would want to see kaden live so you can go through and install kaden live you know right here from the welcome screen also obs that's you know a great way of in in recording you know your desktop recording it pretty much everything you can record video on it obs is super cool and you can also install discord if you use discord a lot now optional steps so i won't go through and install any of this but you do have optional steps so this is the gaming side of things you know 
Zion drivers, you got your Proton GE, so Proton, Steam, you know, game fix up right there. You can install that. DaVinci Resolve fix up so it'll install fix up to allow davinci resolve to run so this is mainly to get things to run look and feel you can go through choose your login manager i'm not gonna mess with any of this but you know this is super cool this is the way a welcome screen should be for any distro you know it should go through pretty much any and everything you can think of for the system especially when it's tied to a particular desktop environment then you want they want to tie that welcome screen into mod making modifications to the desktop environment so you can get it looking how you want it to look you know which is you know in my opinion super dope now troubleshooting issues you can go in here this is i'll take you to the troubleshooting pages and documentation for Nabora Linux, you know, update the system. Obviously, we're already running updates. It's like 17 updates, so it's not that bad on the updates. I wonder why it took so long. I think it had to download. Oh, it's downloading a whole bunch of stuff for us. So it's going through a couple updates. So 16 up there, 17 up down here. It's going through those. And let's see, it looks like a couple more, three more packages right there. So super dope you know it's going through and doing everything now you can turn off the stored up screen from showing up every single time by unchecking this box but i'm gonna leave it checked i'm gonna play around with this distro a little bit further after this get some more things installed because it's taking a while to install everything by using that script so that refresh script now they do have a community site so you can join their discord that's why that option to step in here or recommended additions it does include discord they do have a discord server you can join and you can also check out their subreddits and you can also contribute to Nabor. they have multiple ways to contribute you know you can contribute to the code you can contribute you know financially you know all that good stuff to it to a you know via their patreon or or whatever and then they also have credits for you no know, bore like all the people that are helping develop the application so hey if you want to add to it then you can definitely you know do your best to try to add to this distro and make it a whole lot better and i see my man piece of loving nerd up here the welcome apps ui so he helped with the development of that so that's super cool to see you know another youtuber out there just go on and check out his channel piece of loving nerd he's been around for a while you know covering a lot of linux stuff so definitely check him out and you also see you know Know, other people that have contributed the pop os team asus linux so yeah super cool information they put out on this welcome screen you know it's it's really beneficial and unlike a lot of the other you know distros i've ran across it's just a generic welcome screen it doesn't go through as much as you see here so super dope i won't go through too deep into kde if you've used kde you understand how it works it looks it looks and feels super cool it comes with a lot of applications on here you know all your base applications that's why i want don't want to really go through it you have to install you know pretty much everything else that you want to see it already comes with chrome browser it comes with uh steam let me see under graphics you got inkscape you got gwen view for a kde that's their image viewer you know i played around with that but in the past you got steam proton lutris which is super cool to see g overlay let's see libre office is on here you can go through and check that out it's got all the different you know applications within libre office and document viewers all that good stuff so under development you know kate which is that text editor qt5 debus debugger and that's pretty much it all your utilities that you would typically see on a kde system or here you know you can go into your settings you got your info center which is good to see like i said this, this is a virtual machine so yeah all you're gonna see is virtual information as but you you can at least see the system what the system has it comes with kde plasma version 5.27.9 the graphics platform is Wayland. We talked about that a little earlier. And then the hardware side, you can check that out. And then you got your system monitor. You can relaunch it. It'll launch it up for you. You can see all the information about the system. So that's super cool to see. And let's go on and close that because I don't need to look at it anymore. But yeah, you can go through. This is one thing I wanted to show you guys, the system settings, just to quickly go through it. But you can, you know, make all your changes. Like I said, it's KDE, it's KDE. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really change based on the distro. You know what I'm saying? And you can make your changes, make it look how you want it to look, you know, like your normal KDE system. 
just set it up that way. Now, that's my quick take on the Bora Linux. It's more than just a distro. It's a statement for a hassle-free Linux usage, especially for gamers and content creators. And so if you're looking to dip your toe into Linux without the complexity, Nabora might be your go-to. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Now, keep in mind, though, that Nabora is a passion project and it's not meant for production use. It's independently developed and is standing apart from Fedora and includes various third-party repositories for enhanced functionality. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this review, hit the like button, subscribe for more Linux reviews, and also share your thoughts down in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Catch you in the next one. And of course, keep it techie.